Hi guys, welcome back for another one. We're seeing here with Transport Fever 2, our Apex Challenge, every product to every city on a tropical map. And today's episode is going to be focused around upgrades, and it's a very important thing that we do upgrades, and I'll get into it here in a second. Uh, but first, um, I accidentally let some time run on uh, uh, between recordings, which I don't really necessarily need to do anymore. So uh, I, I just happened to focus here on Everett and realize it's really overcrowded with people. Uh, but I realized this train coming in wasn't completely full on the way in, so I don't know. I'll keep an eye on it. Don't think I need to upgrade that right now. But the upgrades I'm talking about today is all freight type goods. Um, main reason is, let me go ahead and exit out of here, is that we finally have a cargo road vehicle available, which allows us to carry uh, or to maximize the products that we can possibly carry from... Uh, um, from our own, I'm going to call it a distribution center. For example, if you guys didn't catch the end of last episode, I will explain it here again. If I can just find my example, uh, China Railways. All right. Um, up here, this is one example I want to use. Up here, um, this oil well can transfer up to, or can transfer up to 400 productions. Well, the earlier uh, the road vehicles that we had, which is, is going to drive me nuts right now. Uh, let's see, smooth tool, maximize this. There we go. Let's flatten this out a little bit. So the road tools that we had before, the road vehicles we had before, I mean, weren't capable of actually transporting all 400 um, as trying to get up to the number 400 just was too many vehicles on the road to actually make it efficient. They just were tripping over one another. And up until the latest vehicle, which we have going here, we weren't able to get the max amount of production. Now, if we check this out right now, go by the route so we can see, you can see we we're traveling 414, which is now transporting every, everything that this oil uh, well can produce. It's now being transported down by the dock. And this is something we need to do for all of our, all of our goods now is getting them to be able to carry the max amount that uh, any kind of production can produce. And the reason why we want this is because if, as we expand from the finished good product delivering to cities, we want to make, we want to make sure that we are getting every last dollar we possibly can. So by having the foundation set up to, to deliver the max amount, we know we never have to go back and edit that line. Now we will. And I do recommend that you go back and upgrade vehicles as you get newer vehicles, because that's how you, you know, make more money, but you don't have to because you're already producing the max amount. You don't need to. All you need to do is focus on is the end good product being delivered to the city and making sure that that rate matches your city demand. If I lost you, don't worry. I'll explain it here as we go through a real live example, but I'm going to finish this one off first because I just want to kind of work like kind of, I don't know if it want to like south to north clockwise. I don't know how I'm going to work it yet, but I just want to get going. We're getting them all upgraded to this. Um, so the other thing we need to fix right now in the docks probably gonna be, gonna be way overloaded is now we can now transport a rate of 400 and we're currently only transporting a rate of two of uh, 261 so we can get this up to 400 and that's what we're gonna try to do uh, so we're gonna manage vehicle here we have three of these shifts we're gonna see what we can replace them to so before uh, right now we have what is this the vandal so we have this one right now 26 kilometers 130 I don't know if I can get better than that I can get faster. Let me see. I have a 30 and 32. Uh, I think I'm going to be better off if I upgrade. This one's a small upgrade. This one's a bigger one. But this is 32. How are you small? You should be large. I'm not gonna argue let's replace now i am playing with a slow speed so this rate number needs to update i think my rate should be larger than 261 not sure it needs to update um if i run on triple speed it would update a little faster running on one time speed it's going to take some time for it to update i am going to go ahead and focus on the next thing we need to come back and check the rates um as we go here as so i don't really want too much time to the pass the to pass one is I got plenty of money in my bank account. There's no need to really press it. Um, we're going to focus on 
Oh, see, that's an oil well down to refinery and back. All right, so this one we can have a rate of 400. Let's see if we can get that. Right now we are working on a rate of 244. We will replace them all, but we're probably going to have to delete some people. So replace. All right, got to choose the one with all cargo. It's going to cost over 3 million. And instantly, so like I said, we're not getting fast of rate updates. But I think it's fine. I think we just update what we can around uh, Lancaster here, and then we'll go from here. This is, this one's a tricky one. This one, obviously, we're not going to make it to the max amount of the rate that we can based on this. We, this well, this line, because it delivers here, drops off here and comes back. And right now, this is not going anywhere else. And drops back off here. Uh, well, the rate we need to focus on is 132. So do we have a rate of 132? Uh, we don't, we're probably going to go over the rate of 132 by doing this, but oh, that is fine. Replace. And once again, we have to check up on that rate. Uh, the next thing is, do we have upgrading passengers? I don't know if I really want to update these. I'm just curious if I have them. Uh, passengers. Nope. We're on the best we can. All right, cool. All right. Next up we have. Oh, this is simple here. Coal and iron ore. This will be a simple upgrade. Replace. Replace. And we'll definitely have some deleting to do. All right. So these guys are, you guys are just goods delivery. But you're doing a fantastic job of so the goods line uh, that delivers straight into Lancaster. So once again, uh, this should have a rate of 137. The back end up here might not be able to produce 137 yet, but mm, actually, that's a really tough. I think I'm going to upgrade it. I think I'm going to make enough cash to make up for its shortcomings. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do the upgrade. Well, uh, this will definitely this will catch up later once we connect, once we fix the other stuff, which is probably why I want to work in clockwise. Well, I guess it's counterclockwise order. All right. Anyways, um, manage vehicle. You, you are the goods line. Yes, you are. All right. Replace. All right. There you go. All right. So we spent a couple of million at this point, almost 10, uh, maybe more than 10 million. Um, they said, this is what stuff we got to solve here. Uh, but let's go back to these ships and see if they updated, uh, ships to did you update? Seems like you should be larger than that. You're not overloaded. I don't, I don't know how much time I should give it or move it to triple speed and see if the number changes. Actually, I could probably find out is if this number changed, it has not. All right. That number is not moving. Uh, so hard to tell. All right, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave this up B. We're gonna just continue. We might have to go around, upgrade everything, and then come back around and double check all the the frequencies of everything, what the rate numbers are. All right, so now ship line here. Now this is gonna be capped. Currently, this will be capped at 200. As there's there's no way for this to go past 200. Even if this upgrades and then has a max capacity of 400. This thing produces 400 at one, and this is a two to one conversion, which means this can only with one oil well feeding it, it can only hit a maximum rate of 200. So the ship lane here, this dark one, um, 200 is the max. And I think this is going to be a simple, um, let me make sure it's going to be simple. It should be as simple. Just add another one. It is a simple add another one. Um, so we're just going to clone it. Boom. All right, now it gives a rate around 200, which is going to be able to match what we can produce. Uh, the next ship passengers, we're not focusing on passengers. Steel. All right, so steel, we should be able to hit a max rate of 200. So we want to make sure our rate here is 200. And you are steel to goods. Uh, do, do, you are not 200. Um, so here I may actually do an upgrade and try to see if I can get the number of the 200 by replacing the ship. 
Um, as we'll definitely be overkill for two ships and I'll probably lose money. Manage vehicle. Let's see what can get some replacement. You carry 100. I replace you with something faster. You do steel and goods. You do all. You're large. All right, let's replace you. You're faster and you carry more. Oh, uh, we had a little bit of a jump. Actually, this one number moved already. This one jumped a little bit. I don't know. I think I'm just going to upgrade everything and then I'm going to come back and edit. Um, because I'm, I don't trust anything right now. <laughs> All right. So what do we have here? We have crude being dropped off and steel being dropped off. So steel and crude are both at a rate of 200. And we currently have probably higher than that. All right. So first off, oil to plastics. And steel to goods this should be 200. You don't carry goods. What are these other lines? We have goods to, okay. So that needs to be fixed. Goods to torrents. Uh, we'll go ahead and let them upgrade to manage vehicle. All right. That's everyone updated because that's the inner city route. Uh, and then we have this one up here, uh, which should ne definitely be another 200 production. Oh, all right. So we spent a lot of time, uh, upgrade. I mean, this is upgrade some routes now. I think I need to go back and edit. Um, and I don't know, um, uh, obviously I'm probably gonna make a, a, a executive decision after this one. I may go through and update the rest of the routes off camera as it's a lot of rinse and repeat. And I don't feel like I should spend more than an episode on this. That's just my personal thoughts. Uh, you guys can leave your opinions in the comments down below, but I do have to record these due to my work schedule. I do have to record these, uh, in group sessions. So a lot of times by the time I get you guys feedback, I've either already done the thing you said I should do, or I'm way past that point where I can't go back. And every once in a while, someone does hit me with something that I can do right away. <clears throat> I'm getting a drink of water. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. So here, uh, the rate hasn't changed. I'm actually going to speed stuff up just so I can get upgraded rates. I think I'm going to have to do this off camera too. I'm going to assume, let's see that now the number's moving. I'm going to assume since the other number's updated that this one just has updated this point. So let's go ahead, manage vehicle and let's make a clone of a fourth one and see what we get. Oh, dang. That is so close to 400. That is not great. That's not great. So four vehicles, it's less than a hundred. So we'll have some, uh, we're going to put another one on, but it's got, it's going to be a waste. Hmm. It's kind of a waste, but I do want to make sure all 400 is being transported. That's probably the bad part, part about ships. You almost need them carrying goods in both directions because one way they don't, they have to, they have to be full going one way. To really make you money. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. All right. Well, anyways, it's doing its job. So we're going to leave it be. Um, the next thing we upgraded was up here. 406. There's no way it's that perfect. Oh, no. Look at this backlog. This thing can be more efficient with less. Um... Oh, maybe you're empty this way. All right. So here we're going to slow it down. Oh no, you're not empty with us. Oh, so we're just going to have to lose some stuff here. We're going to lose some production, but not one that's completely full. Seven, two, two is a good number to get rid of. Sell. 
Ah, uh, sure. So... And the reason I'm going to do this is because these guys are actually not being very productive, right? They're, they're being stopped. They're being slowed down. It's not really producing anything. So my rate, even with this being backed up, can hit 400. So if I can get rid of them being backed up, we should be able to have a rate of 400. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the big ones. Uh, there's a three. There's a three. All right. So we have that down to how many vehicles? Match vehicle. 39. Holy smokes. Oh, let's get down to 38. All right. I don't know. It's still a big backlog, but I'm going to move on to something else and give that time to, you know, separate itself out. Uh, all right. Next thing I want to do is go and try to fix the rate here. So you should have a rate of 132 as our max. And what do we have? Overkill. All right, you're coming back empty. Oh, so we can get rid of another one. Holy smokes. I got to get rid of another one. Where are you coming from? You're full. You're getting ready to offload. Cause I'm ready. I'm ready. As soon as you offload, I'm deleting you. Come on, offload fast. Oh, I'm back on one time speed. Offload faster. There you go. Uh, 137. What did I say my number was? Um, I think 137 is fine. We'll grow. We'll grow into that a little bit of a difference. All right. So next thing up is how are you guys doing? I know that you're backlogged. Oh, actually, you're not. Wow, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> My rate is so oh, it's way overkill. My rate is 759. All right, let's slow this down. All right, let's do every other here for a little bit. I should just come back empty. You guys are probably coming. I'm probably deleting the wrong ones. Yeah, delete the ones coming back. What's wrong with you? Right, one time speed because I can't click on them. Alrighty. Still not where I need to be. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Get down to 400. So we're just losing money right now. And by me getting this down to 400, we'll start making money again. All right. I'm going to let these guys separate a little bit. We still got to get rid of some more. Uh, we kind of got the same problem over here. All right. If we look at it. Uh, yep. We're at 716. So let's go ahead and start doing something about it. We're just going to skip every other one until we get to the end of the line. And... I'm not really looking at the numbers. I realize I got to delete a lot to get that number down. All right. And there's the end of the line. And we're down to 500. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I'll let this, except I'll let this stuff settle out a little bit. Uh, we did upgrade this line and we have 237. I'm pretty sure I can delete some. We need a rate of 158, so let's get ready to delete some vehicles. Uh, we're still not where we need to be. Uh, we're getting closer. Uh, we're down to 22. Uh, this line I got to get fixed. This is a waste of cash.
Alright, we're having a little bit more tweaking. You guys can see, you can see the tedious that goes into this. But anyways, guys, I'm going to keep this episode short. I mean, that's basically what I need to keep doing. Hopefully you guys understand uh, what I'm doing here. I hope I've done a great job explaining it and then demonstrating it is once we get these lines established where they are only operating at their at the max capacity we know they're constantly making money right they, this hat this produces 400 we know this plant will take 400. however this plant will only produce up to 200 i don't know how it's getting above 200 right now but it will only produce 200 right and we know that so we know the rest of it only can have a rate of 200. if we can get another uh coal and iron ore going into this then we can know we can produce 400 and then the lines after that we can jump them up to uh 400 that's kind of how that works and then the next to the end products when going into the cities you just need to modify them to match the city rate i wish passengers work the same way they don't it's a random crapshoot you just got to figure it out or or you like to just like put the minimum on and then build up as you see passengers backing up because that's where i'm going to end this episode a little bit of a short one because it's a lot of tedious stuff and the same thing over and over again it's just, what i'm showing you guys here is what i'm going to do the rest of the map so I, I may have a different banking account in different year when you come back when i when we come back uh but all this is going to be done it's going to allow us to expand and me talk about the next part of trying to complete our apex challenge but this is extremely important uh like i said I, every time a new vehicle comes out i highly recommend that you update all your lines to make the most amount of money be as efficient as possible but as far as this playthrough goes this allows me to not have to have an entire episode of upgrading or do a bunch of or do a, the entire map upgrade off camera and lot i can just upgrade as needed um as we go but yeah, that's gonna do it for me if you guys enjoyed this so far um join the series you know what hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't done so right turn on the notification bell and don't forget to leave me a comment and like always i'll catch you guys on the next one bye